It was a TVL showdown between the 1-1 one one Hopkinton Hillers and the 1-1 one one Westwood Wolverines. The Hillers in their first home game of the season looking to start things off right. First quarter about 1-10 left. The Hillers face a third and six from their own 31 yard line. Kelleher takes the snap, finds Vakari at around the 39. Vakari to the 50, Vakari to the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10, and into the end zone. A 69 yard touchdown will make it six to nothing, Hillers. Second quarter now, Hillers at their own 35. Kelleher set for the snap, looks to his right. Once again, launches it downfield. Jack Vakari with the diving catch at around the 25. That sets this play up right here with 12 seconds left in the half. Yeah, now Keller is going to throw. He throws a jump ball over the middle, and he has a catch. Jack Vakari with his second touchdown catch. Kelleher will this time jump up and find in the corner of the end zone none other than Jack Vacari for the second Hillers touchdown of the game. It would be 12 to nothing Hillers at the half. Third quarter now, Hillers drive all the way down to the Westwood 31 yard line. Kelleher looks downfield and he finds Nick Canal who will take it up to the 20 yard line and 11 yard reception. And then that set this up. Sam Lehman in the backfield gets the handoff, rushes right up the middle for the two yard touchdown. The Hillers are flying high up 18 to nothing. The Hillers then went for the two point conversion. And this time, Isaac Stillwell gets into the end zone. 20 to nothing Hillers. About 10 minutes left in the game. So game's over, right? Wrong. Brendan Patterson takes the snap, looks downfield, and he finds none other than his favorite target, Rob Antonucci, who takes it into the end zone, a 39-yard touchdown. Westwood would then attempt the two-point conversion. Patterson takes the snap under pressure and finds a man in the corner. It's Kevin Hessian to make it a 20 to eight game. The drive only took one minute and seven seconds off the clock. And at 9.48 left to play, the Wolverines defense forces a Hillers three and out and gets the ball back with four minutes and 10 seconds left. Westwood from their own 15. Brendan Patterson takes the snap, pedals to his left, launches it downfield over the defender and into the hands of Kevin Hessian all the way down to the 15 yard line, a 70 yard reception. That would set this up. Patterson again throws up the middle, this time finds Ryan McDonald to make it 20 to 14. Westwood would then add two to cut the Hillers lead to four. The drive only took 18 seconds off the clock. The Westwood defense comes through. Hillers three and out from the Westwood 45. Oh no, an Aaron snap. Vakari has to chase it down, picks it up and runs with it. And then knocked out of bounds at the 46 yard line. Westwood with great field position. Still a minute 41 seconds left. Patterson then takes the snap, throws downfield, finds Jimmy Fallon at the 20 yard line, takes it all the way to the one yard line, a 45 yard reception. And then Patterson into the end zone, gives Westwood the lead 22 to 20. Westwood would attempt to, but miss the conversion. The Hillers now have one last opportunity. Kelleher takes a snap from the 35, throws it on the near side and it's intercepted. Kevin Hessian picks off Kelleher and that's how the game would end a barn burner here in Hillertown as Westwood knocks off Hopkinton. 22 to 20 and they overcome a 20 to nothing deficit all in the fourth quarter. Quite an unbelievable comeback by the Wolverines. Brendan Patterson throws for over 150 yards, two touchdown receptions, and also has a rushing touchdown in the Westwood victory.